this video is about why taking care of your fitness, your finance, and your situation with females is so important. The truth is that ethics really happen long before you need them. And I'm going to give you an example today in each of the categories so it makes more sense. So I was about 28 years old and I met up with some friends of mine that I played college football with. These are big guys. They were both tackles. So both of them substantially bigger than me, 6'6", 300 pounds, strong, big, big guys, powerful men. And we're in a bar called Red Eye in New Orleans, very close to the river, um, very popular place for, you know, people to go get drunk, you know, most like any other bar you would go to. So I'm standing in the bar and I'm talking to a young lady and out of my peripheral, I see a gentleman coming towards me. He shoves my shoulder, hooks his elbow around me and pushes me back away from the girl. Uh, I'm a big believer that if you can walk away from a fight, you absolutely should. I think the biggest mistake that he made was once he did that, he then turned to me and went to shove his finger into my chest and I'm not exactly sure what he's saying because before he could get it off, I hit him. The mistake I made is that when he hit the floor, I dropped down to a knee and grabbed the back of his head and about the time I drew back the second time, one of his buddies came in and caught both of my arteries in a rear naked choke. I was able to get to my feet and get my hands in, be in between where his arm was, but he was a very big guy. He was probably a little bit bigger than me actually. And I could feel his other friends hitting me in the ribs and thank God my chin was tucked. And I'm pushing forward and my friends are nowhere to be found. And all I remember hearing as the guy was scraping at my eyes that was on top of my back was get this motherfucker out. And I hear the compression of the door and the next thing you know, I'm in an alley and my contacts were messed up. I couldn't really see and I was severely, severely out of breath. And I just feel very, very, very lucky that they didn't kick those guys out with me. There's a boulevard right behind this bar, Red Eye, that has a strip of bushes. I ran to those bushes, laid on my back, out of pure concern that they were gonna kick these other guys out with me. And I did not know where my friends were. I'm laying on my back, trying to catch my breath, trying to see how bad I'm bleeding, and kind of laughing because he was just really just scratched me like a bitch. And, and all I could think of is what would have happened if they would have kicked those guys out with me? Where were my friends? And that's probably one of the reasons I think it's most important to train combat training and to stay fit and stay capable as a man because one of the worst things that could ever happen to a guy, and I know this has happened to guys before, is for one of your buddies to watch you get jumped on by multiple guys and get beat up really, really badly, and he wasn't even man enough to jump in and take the ass whooping with you. You don't wanna be that kind of friend. So you wanna be prepared for these types of situations, whether that be with your training, with doing some kind of boxing or Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu, which I, advice to do all. You just want to be the kind of friend where it's not so much can you fight, but will you fight is probably one of the most important things that you can really think about in this regard. In fact, I think a good friend of mine, Andrew Tate, says that and I'm pretty sure he's competent in the area. But it's absolutely true. You need to at least have some experience in this particular area of both fitness, of being strong enough to be involved, being capable, and then having thrown some punches and been hit a couple times in your life so you're able to at least defend the honor of your friend or help your friend not get in a situation or definitely your girl.